Hi, I'm Mary Jane Waits, and I'm one of the regional membership specialists for ATPE. And I was going to explain a little bit about what we do for students as well as professional people um, with our membership. So um, let's go to the next slide. Can Kristen, can you advance it? Or, there we go. Um, we'll talk here. There's the basic points. Uh, professional liability insurance. That's the main thing people are focused on with ATPE. That is in case you are accused of something, you will have an attorney as a member of ATPE who will represent you. Uh, you may not be guilty of anything, but uh, take my advice. I've been there. You need an attorney speaking for you and not trying to do it on the fly with your nerves going kind of crazy and everything like that. And right now in this litigious society that we're living in, um, I can't tell you how important it is to be sure that you have a, a liability insurance. It's not expensive with ATPE and um, let me give you some more information about what it does. Uh, employment rights protection. If you have a disagreement or a conflict with an administrator, um, this we have a, a lawyer who will be there for you to represent you and protect your job. Um, you don't want to speak for yourself on that either. Let the, lo let the lawyers talk about it and stay out of it so that you are well represented and you don't misspeak and do something that makes things worse for you. We have lobbyists in Austin and in Washington, D.C. who are worried about what is best for our education in Texas. ATPE is a Texas only organization. All of our funds stay in the state of Texas, helping our members. We are not national. We are not a union. Um, we are here to help what is best for our students, our staff, and the education system in Texas. We have networking across the state. We have lots of webinars. We have um, blogs. There are a number of things on our website that you can go to and read about ATPE, what, where we stand on things, what's in the news, what's happening at, with the legislature. Um, there's updates every week when legislature is in session and um, we get the notices on Friday about what happened this week and then maybe what's to expect next week. Um, professional development 24-7. We have uh, a system of professional development that's done by South by Southwest, not the music people, the education people. And they um, provide, I think we have about 180 courses that you can take online 24-7, whichever is convenient for you. Um, you can take classes in the, what you're teaching or things that you might be interested in on the other side, or maybe something you'd like to get certified in also so that um, you can continue to grow professionally in whichever direction you choose to grow. We have a conference in the summer. It's called the Summit. And for the past two years, it's been virtual. We hope next year things will be a little bit more open. COVID will be a little bit more under control. And we can all go to Dallas and have our conference up there next year. It's um, several hundred members come and find out how ATPE works. They go, we do a lot of training in those sessions, and we have a lot of fun. So I encourage you, if you join, to uh, check in to going to Summit. Uh, it's pretty much expenses paid, so it's not too bad at all to get to go. Um, we have uh, education, Educator Exchange, where it's, teacher, it's, like, it's not the same as, but it's like teachers helping teachers or that type of thing where you can go online to our sites and uh, share ideas, ask questions, get somebody else to help you from their perspective, um, vent if you need to. Um, it's, it's very healthy. Uh, it's a very good place to go and um, share information with your peers. Um, that's the majority of the things that we do on the business side of it. We also offer a lot of discounts. For, with your membership, you can get discounts for a lot of travel. There's hotels, car rentals, um, uh, entertainment tickets, stuff like that. You can get a lot of good discounts. I was told the other day about somebody who took a family of eight to Disney World for $3,000 using all the discounts. So 
that's pretty impressive. I haven't seen the numbers to verify that, but that's what I was told by somebody who said they did it. So I have to believe them. Would you go to the next slide, please, Kirsten? Um, we are we are representing the largest group of professional educators and staff in the state of Texas. ATPE hires, uh, excuse me, I misspoke. ATPE will ensure anybody who works with the school district, from the superintendents to the bus drivers to the staff to maintenance, kitchen ladies, whoever in the district, we have an insurance policy that will cover you. It's different prices for different people, different coverages, um, but we don't leave out anybody um, that works for the school district. We're all a family and we're all working to the benefit of every student and every employee in the district. So I encourage you to take a look at that seriously. We have almost 100,000 members and um, we speak loudly and clearly on topics on a regular basis with the with TEA, with the commissioner, with um, the legislature, whoever needs to hear what we're saying on yours and my behalf for educators as well as retired people. Okay, next slide please. If you're a student teacher, which is a very good chance that you are by listening to this, um, you're membership to ATPE is free as long as you're a student. When you start taking a paycheck from the school district, then you become, you would join as an associate and that does cost 80 or $90 depending on how you choose to pay for it. But um, for the whole time you're in college, it is free and um, it's a good chance for you to get to see how things go and used to it was really just our senior students who were going into campuses, but now more and more classes like 1301s are even having some chances to go observe on campuses and school districts are requiring that you have some sort of professional insurance so that um, there's some sort of coverage for you because you're in the classroom and you're working with students and you need some protection like that. So um, we have that for you for free. And then when you become a certified teacher or a para or whatever you join at whatever level you're at and we give good discounts for our first-time um, professionals and especially if you're a member in college there's a really good chance that um, your name will go into a drawing in the last few years we've been having one where we give $500 um, to someone for a classroom makeover and everybody knows that a first-year teacher struggles to get all the bills paid and do things with their classroom and stuff like that. So that little $500 bonus is pretty exciting and not very many people's names go into that list. So I encourage you to um, go from college into it. Don't forget that and don't assume that because you are a member in college, you are a, a member as a professional. Our, our year goes from August 1 to July 31. So every fall we start over with a new year you can join as early as May, April and May in the, in the year before for the next school year. But that's a little bit too much information right now, probably to, I don't want to get you confused. Um, but you can join early and take advantage of the membership discounts that you can get from our vendors and um, not have to pay anything until August, regardless of how you join. Um, we have several options for joining as far as that goes. Um, you can do a payroll deduction, that's if you're getting paid, um, or using credit card, bank draft, however you want to pay for it um, uh, is an option and the prices vary depending on how you choose to pay for it. Um, payroll deduction is always going to be the most expensive and if you do on your own credit card or bank draft and make payments just like you do on payroll deduction, um, you get about a $36 savings this year if you join that direction. So um, your student teacher, like I said, it's still free until you draw a paycheck. So you can be a member for two or three years um, in college and then join your first year a professional and the membership this year is only $110 for our first year membership. Next slide, please. Um, one of the things that we do look for in our colleges 
is somebody who wants to be an ambassador. I really only need one person per campus, but it's somebody who can help generate membership for the campus to get the word out about ATPE, um, take advantage of some of our resume webinars and interview in webinars and stuff like that so that you can put the word out there for your classmates to know what's going on and then you'll get us a, uh, a bit of a stipend from me. You, uh, you and I would be talking, you'll tell me what's going on and I'll help you get whatever we need together to get that uh, information out there to your campus and uh, the students who are members. Uh, my information is right there. It's mjwaits at atpe.org if you want to contact me um, for any reason. If you have questions about this presentation and what could be um, offered, you know, send me a message and I will be glad to get back to you. Um, lots of times I'll make, I live in Temple, so I make trips to lots of my colleges just to go talk to people who want to be ambassadors and talk about what we can do and, and what um, advantages that would be. It's also a great little tool to have on your resume um, that you were an ambassador while you were in college. Um, in principles, I'm a former principal, I can tell you, we look for things like that where you take on a little bit of a leadership role. And ATPE loves to grow leaders. One of the things that I don't think I have a slide on it right now, but it's called the Leadership Academy. We offer it every other year. Um, it's an all expense paid two weekends out of the school year that um, you, you know, people who apply for the academy are chosen, get to go and have several days of um, good information, all expenses paid, travel included, hotels, food, everything um, for really good training. It's very noticeable when um, I run into people who've been to the academy. I can tell by their demeanor and how they behave, how they introduce themselves, shake hands and everything else that they've been there and they are eager to talk to you about ATPE. A very big plus in people's resume and um, information sharing about ATPE. Is there another slide? I don't really even remember how this one ends. Um, ATPE is free. There's a you can do it online. You can most of college professors. There's a I hope there's a poster up on every campus telling you who to go see to get an application. But you can go online or you can email me and I'll either mail you one or I'll send you the link to um, the application so that you can sign up for free and take advantage of what ATPE has to offer. Um, like I said, we have members. This is a 41-year-old organization, and it's it's uh, very much um, uh, requirements to be an ambassador. Let me get to that in just a second. It's it's very much a positive thing for you. Um, there's there's peace of mind with being a member of ATPE. One because there's almost 100,000 other people who are joined, but also to have a know that that payment that you make when you have to start paying for it is like paying a retainer fee for a lawyer. So if something gets a little bit wonky, um, you can pick up the phone and call the lawyer directly and talk to him, him or her about it, and they can tell you what the next step will be to do to protect you and your career. To be an ambassador, it's somebody who's interested in um, wanting to share the message, wants to put things out there, can help me organize um, meetings or group things. Lots of times I'll come and I tend to always come with a tray of cookies or something like that when I come to the campus. So um, if there's something we can do, like have a practice interview day or um, talk about whatever's going on, I'd be glad to um, uh, come talk to you or we can email back and forth and you can tell me, I'll ask you a few questions about what kind of schedule you have? Are you on campus all the time? Are you doing virtual classes? Um, it's really hard to do probably if you're virtual all the time, but it's not impossible. So um, I don't have anybody at um, Central Texas right now. So I would be glad to talk to you if you're interested, send me a message and we'll strike up a conversation about what your campus particularly needs. Any questions? I know that was pretty fast information there, but um, I try to keep it simple and the importance of having professional liability insurance. If you're going into a classroom these days, you just have to have it. I can tell you hundreds of stories about situations where it was needed 
didn't get into court or anything like that. But a, a, a lawyer stepped in and took care of the problem um, to alleviate a career loss. You put a lot of money into your education, into your career. Um, we want to help you protect it. Hit me with questions. I'm all ready for them. If I don't know the answer, I'll contact somebody and get back to you. Yeah, and students, don't be afraid if you want to type questions in um, the text box like Mary did, or if you want to actually vocalize your question, you can always do that as well. Um, but we're waiting, while we're waiting for that, I'll go ahead and ask you a quick question. Um, okay. This morning, we had a, a group come in and they're starting an ATPE club. Is that something that other universities normally have? And what do they normally do? What have you seen other universities do if they have an ATPE club? At There's, there, um, I have a club at almost every university that I go to, um, especially if it's, um, well, Texas A&M Central Texas is about one of my favorite ones because they're always so active. Um, they have meetings they, they participated in. I can tell you what they've done in the past. I don't know what they'll do this year. Like one year they had trunk or treat in the parking lot of the campus and ATPE had a vehicle park there. They gave out candy to the little trick-or-treater people and um, people could ask about ATPE and get explanations there. Um, they've had barbecues. I remember we had like there's a spring flame thing that they had one year and um, we had a booth there and the, it, it was for little kids to uh, sign up and, and they got to color um, a picture or make a mask or something like that. And then we had uh, raffle drawings for um, several really nice prizes. One I remember was a very large barbecue pit that somebody had donated to ATPE's group. And so they had a brand new barbecue pit sitting right there for somebody to win. Um, they do a little bit of fundraising to pay for their prizes that they have. And um, in the past, it was as simple as um, like a sandwich, well, a bag lunch on Mondays. Um, everybody just knew that ATPE would have a $5 lunch or something like that on Mondays. And it, some weeks it'd be pizza and sometimes it'd be a sandwich or it'd be something else. Um, but there was a drink and the chips and stuff like that included for $5 and people didn't have to um, go to the uh, restaurants or wherever. And I noticed there's food trucks on campus now. They didn't used to have that when this was all started. But um, things like that, that any, they, one group even chose to adopt a school. And they put their money that they generated um, into making a donation to the school for, um, I guess, what would you call it? Health supplies, toothbrush, toothpaste, um, soap, um, sanitation. I guess now we have sprays and um, antiseptics and um, what do you what do we even call that stuff? That's got the um, to disinfect our hands after we've touched something. But they put all their money into a particular campus that was several of them were uh, had children there on that campus. And so they realized a need and, you know, pencils and pens and papers and extra school supplies um, that came along. Let's see. To the what was it? Stubbs organization, student organizations, I mean. Um, ATPE is separate. We're not really a part of anything else. If it gets, if the campus has something that we have to go through, we'll do that. Some of them have them, some of them don't. Um, but I would encourage you to check into the group that's going to sign up because we have a lot of fun. Um, ATPE will donate things also to help those who work it and make donations to whatever event you're working on. So. Um, and it, you know, your children lots of times can be invited to whatever we're doing. It's never a, a, just an adult thing. We always invite families. Um, we're about taking care of everybody uh, and helping each other out. Does that answer that question? It looks like Victoria M. also had a question. She asked, if we want to have professional development either as a group or individual, can we get help? with that from ATPE? Yes. Yes, you can. Let me know what you need and I'll find the people who can give us the best information and see what we can get set up. 
we do webinars at least once a month. Uh, we put a little notice out in your email, like uh, if you join ATPE even as a student, um, you get an email from, well, you get a newsletter from me every month telling you what's going on, what's coming up, what's happened, um, and all that. And we'll announce our webinars and stuff like that. Um, I know in the spring we do a whole lot of resume building and job interview kind of stuff and things to expect, how to look for the job, how to ask questions for the job that fits you best. Um, and not to take the first one that comes along just because you're panicked about not having a job yet. Um, so there's a lot of things that we can help with and are more than happy to help any group that asks. What else? So if a student, um, since it looks like the, the ATPE club here is getting uh, traction once again, um, since we're back in person, if a student wanted to join ATPE, what would be the best train of action to um, get their free membership? Should they go through the student org first or should they reach out directly to you? Um, I think that is um, Ms. Allen. Uh, Amanda Allen is the sponsor over there and uh, she's got applications right there. You can get one from her or you can go online and download it. And as soon as you submit it, you're a member. There's no money involved for you or anything like that. So just sign up and, and we can grow a big group very easily and have some fun. It's amazing to me that um, your campus particularly has um, non-traditional, a lot of non-traditional students and um, those friendships that you make through groups like this when you first start out, you'll keep in contact with them forever. It's like your first year students. You'll remember them longer than anybody else probably in your whole group because there's just so much that happens that first year. I encourage everybody to keep a journal of their first year of teaching because um, you won't remember all the stuff that happens and some of it's hysterical some of it's oh not so not so funny but it's still like when you look back over it and think about oh my gosh what I've learned over the years from our students it's amazing I wouldn't trade this profession for anything um, I, I was 13 years in the classroom with seniors I was 13 years as a junior high principal and I worked three years as a principal in a men's prison so I've kind of looked at it from all different angles and um, it's the toughest, most rewarding job I've ever held in my career. I encourage you to jump in and enjoy it um, and help those kiddos who need it. You're, you're going to know and they're going to flock to you when you reach out. They'll know that you care. Awesome. Uh, any other questions from Students or anybody on the meeting today? I thought this was great information. I didn't realize that um, institutions like ATPE existed. So, yes, we have competitors, and there's, um, I even have comparison sheets that tell you what our company does compared to everybody else's. Um, but I will, I'll be glad, you know, I can send one out to you electronically if you want to ask me about it. Or um, if somebody tells you something and you just want to verify whether or not it's factual, because you know your competitors will tell things that aren't necessarily true. So um, I'd be glad to help you clarify um, any questions or concerns that you have. And if I can't answer them, I'll find the people who can and we'll get back to you. I promise. Great. That's amazing. Thank you so much. I don't know if you saw that Michelle said, wow, thank you so much for this information. She loved hearing you talk about uh, yourself and your experiences, and it's evident that you love this profession. And I definitely agree. You can see your passion as you talk about it, which is great. Yes, I absolutely love it. Um, I, I And that's why I'm retired and I'm still working with this because I had to use ATPE legal services my second year of teaching. Um, and I kept my membership all the way through my career um, just to be sure and to say thank you for helping me out because I was really, really scared my second year. I didn't know enough to even know what I should be scared of, but I knew um, I needed, 
I needed, and my mentor teacher said, don't walk in that classroom until you have some sort of protection. And that's exactly what she was talking about. I had no idea it was I was going to get hit with it. It was a staff to staff problem. It wasn't a parent or student or anything like that, but it was a, a big concern for me. So um, you, you can't imagine how scary it is until you, until something that you had no idea would be said about you and it's not true and you have to protect yourself and your career and your family. Um, so I, I truly believe in it. I truly love teaching, love it. Um, and I welcome any phone calls, messages, anything you send me, I'll be glad to talk to you, encourage you when you're having one of those days and you just need to vent, been there and done that a few times myself. So I do not hesitate to contact me. I'm here for you anytime. That's amazing that you've had such a long teaching career and you know, ATP you helped you out so early and it, I guess it kind of helped you with the, with the course of the rest of your career. That's, that's yes. pretty amazing and that's great that you really get to give back and, and tell people about it. And I always say it's better safe than sorry. And it definitely sounds like, <laughs> yes, yes. you know, it's like we, we keep insurance on our cars and our health, our homes, um, and all this and your career you've got quite a lot invested in it um, early on it may not seem like it but when you look at your how much you've paid for college and all the other expenses that were involved it it's quite an investment in your life and wouldn't trade it for the world I would not trade it and this was my second career this was not my first career so um, I did the the real world stuff before I did the teaching so um, I spend a lot of time with my students talking to them about what the real world is going to be like. It's not like school. And um, <laughs> we had some eye opening experiences through it all. But like I said, I wouldn't trade it for the world. And I wish you all the best of luck with your teaching careers every day. It's a, it's a new day every day for that, for sure. Thank you so much, Miss Mary. If there are no more questions, I will go ahead and end the recording.